Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Queens, New York, with the vampire known as Dave, as he attempts to make a nuisance of himself at the Department of Environmental Protection. I mean, I don't think he even knows what uh, services they offer to begin with, and uh, I would expect him not to know anything about the environment anyway, because he doesn't even have a fourth grade education as far as I know. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It's your boy Giga Activism. We're here in Queens. You want to check out the Department of Environmental Protection. Yeah, Davey, uh, I wonder if you know what the Department of Environmental Protection is there for. I mean, I know it's there to help protect our natural resources, but do you know that? Or do you think it's just some government agency there to be your bootlicker? I mean, that might be it right there. A little longer than a few minutes later. Standing in the court. So if you're not paying a bill or anything, yes. then you gotta go. Yes. What's your name, ma'am? We're getting a supervisor now. Yes, sir. He's not going to be able to get a supervisor. I'm getting a supervisor. What's up? Good morning. Can I help you? Um, what's your name? Gary. And your title? Security supervisor. Oh, so you can't help me. I don't need help from security. What are you doing? What do you want? I'm conducting business in a public what? building. I'm conducting business in a public building. What kind of building? Personal. Journalism. What? Journalism. Journalism. Uh, journalism. Uh, dude, uh, you didn't even graduate the fourth grade. And journalism, well, part of that is being able to write a proper story and uh, using essay techniques uh, in that. So let me ask you a uh, generalized essay question. What is a Rogerian essay, dude? Can you tell me that? No, I didn't think you could. So carry on with your uh, failure of a life, dude. Mm. Investigative journalism. What is that? Investigative what you, journalism? What do you investigate? The DEP. What about it? I can't give you all that. I just started that. That'll you compromise any, my investigation. Credentials, no? I'm sorry? You have any credentials? For what? Press credentials, anything like that? Do you have press credentials? I'm you not have freedom. I'm not. I have to do with journalism or press. Nothing. You have freedom of the press? You have press credentials? No, I'm not freedom of the press. You have religion credentials? Because you have freedom of religion, too. You got religion credentials? No, that's... that's you got speech credentials? That's freedom of speech. Right. We know that. Right. So, so is freedom of the press. I don't need what credentials. Are you, what are you here? What are you trying to do here? I just told you. What, what do you want to do? You want to just stand here? Is that what you I'm mean? doing what I'm doing. I'm investigating. I'm conducting my own business in a public building. I'm conducting business in a public building. You're, you're here to pay a bill? Not no, I'm not here to pay a bill. No, uh, he's not there to pay any bills, but he is there to uh, act like a moron for his equally moronic followers on YouTube and get paid for doing that at the very least. And then he can pay his uh, actual bills that don't uh, involve the Department of Envi Environmental Protection. It's not a public bill. This is where you pay the bills. So this is the DEP, right? Yeah. Is this a public lobby? What? Is this a public lobby? Yeah, if you come here to pay your bills. Right. If you have no business paying bills here, there's, not, there's nothing to do here. So you only only people, people yeah, can't come in here and ask questions? No, you may, there's a phone number to call here. People could come in here and ask questions. Who? For what? What are you going to ask questions about? To get information? About? Whatever your question pertains to. Anything else? I can help you with? Are you going a little further? With this? What, what is your question for the I don't have a question for security, sir. You can't. You have a question for EP? Yeah. What's the question? I don't want to ask the question right now. Right now, I'm taking pictures. I'm investigating, and before I, before I leave, I'm going to ask my questions and conduct my other business. I'm sorry to say this, Dave. Uh, but in order for you to conduct any sort of investigation, you've got to know what the uh, 
business is all about in order to understand it and conduct your investigation properly. But considering that you probably don't know anything about the Environmental Protection Agency, you wouldn't be able to formulate any questions properly, and therefore it would definitely fall flat on your face and make you look like an even bigger moron than you already are. So you might as well just make like a tree and leave. Is everything okay? Yeah, no, you just can't stand here. If you're not paying a bill in this, in this room, you don't, you don't come in here. People come in and ask questions. If people have questions about their bill. Do they come yeah, in and ask questions about, about their the bill? bill? You just said that about the bill. You don't have a question about the bill. What if they want to come in here and gather public information? Can people do that? About what? Whatever pamphlets, whatever public information. If somebody wants to come gather some forms, can they do that? You can take a form right now. This is wide open to the public, right? It's publicly accessible. It's right, a public do lobby. Want, do you want a form? Yeah, which form do you want? Take, look at the form. No, I know. I'm take free to take one if I wanted to. Uh, yes, we're, we're, right. yeah. So public buildings, a public lobby. Services? I'm a guy. Guy? Mm -hmm. What? Guy. You know my last name? And my social security number? Now serving T407 at counter number two. I can't hear you. I didn't ask you social security number. What's your name? Guy. Guy what? Do you remember back in the 80s and 90s with all those stay in school PSAs and everything like that? Uh, this guy right here, Davy Boy, he's a good example of why you should stay in school. A complete and total ignoramus who can't get a job outside of uh, being a nuisance on YouTube. And, uh, well, should this platform ever, well, end for him it'll be nothing more than a welfare recipient that will is living off the taxpayers like you and me that's it that's what i'm gonna give you, you this guy name? i'm like share no. or sade she, she has no or sade or sting sting yeah. elvis or prince elvis prince has a last name prince prince has a last name too but they just call him by, they just call him one name. Oh, if you mention that last name. I don't know their last names. What do you want? What question do I ask? I just want to be free to conduct my business without being molested or accosted. No, who's molesting you? I tell you, I don't need your help. I don't. Where do you see that at? Is that a law? Is it against the law to record in a public building? Well, I thought it was the First Amendment. I don't see no law on that sign. That's like, that's like you have a sign saying no hats. Everybody, nobody can wear hats in here. It's a public building. Now, come on now, dude. I mean, with all the identity theft that goes on these days, are you going to actually try to make it easier for the identity thieves to... Well, do their nefarious jobs and steal all the data they want because of your videos. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's what you uh, intended on doing. Isn't that right? But I know you don't care about that. You don't care about anybody uh, other than yourself. So let's just go ahead and skip to the part where the police finally show up because this video is over an hour long anyway. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. I'll speak to the officers. They'll help me. Okay. Since you guys don't want to help me. We did help you. You didn't at all. We did help you. You didn't at all. We helped you. I didn't call them. You did. Hello. Hello. I'm grateful. How are you? Good. 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 I didn't call you. But, no, yeah, you didn't matter. call, but right. you, have to, you can't stay in the building. You have right to now. leave. All right? Why? Wait, I came here to conduct business. What business? In a public building. What business? It's a foyer? public. I'm sorry? It's not quite public. This isn't a public building. This well, is. Yes, you have to free conduct. To do anything you want in here. That's the thing. I didn't say that. Sir. Sure. Oh, come on now. Davey, maybe you should choose your targets more carefully next time because it looks like the police are not exactly having any of your bullshit this time. What business do you have to conduct? A foyer request. I need to file a complaint. Okay. And I need to take pictures and video. I can't do that. Why not? Because they're telling you you can't go through. 
I didn't go through anyway. I didn't, I didn't go through. You can walk out or we can escort you out. Can I, can I speak to you? Can you call a supervisor for me, please? Yeah. Because we'll you, you just came. You, you, right? you came. You didn't even investigate. You didn't do not one investigation <laughs> because they don't want me here. I got to go. A public building. Basically. Really? Yes, what if they didn't like me because I was black? Just, just, I mean, and they called you to not, remove me. This isn't a playground, you know? You know, uh, Davey boy, I seem to recall being on a panel with you at one time where you said that exact same thing to me and well you got laughed right off the freaking panel it's not about your race it's about how you present yourself you dumb fuck and you present yourself as an ill-mannered temperamental asshat so is it any wonder why you get kicked out of so many buildings it's not about your race it's about how you act. Does it look like I'm playing? I told you my official business. Well, it, I mean, you're saying it's a public building. It is. It's not the same as a public sidewalk. You can't just come That's in traditional here and, and this is limited, which is time, place, and manner. You can't just The time is business hours. Right. The place is a public building and the manner is professional. I'm here on legal and lawful business. Do you understand? This is limited public forum. That's traditional. Certain channels that have to go through. I can write it in person. I came here so that they can help me write. I don't know how to read and write. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit on that one. How can you say you know anything about the law when you claim to be illiterate? I mean, you've got to have some degree of literacy to be able to understand and interpret the law, even to as limited a capacity as you have. I mean, that whole limited public forms doctrine that you just spouted off was a bunch of BS to begin with. I mean, the doctrine isn't BS, but the way you presented it was total BS. Limited public form basically means they have more control over that than they would a sidewalk where it is a traditional public form and uh, you can't troll the First Amendment on a sidewalk. No, nope. but this is a government building and you can control it in here because, well, sensitive information and everything like that, you dumbass. That's why I came here. That's why this building's here, so I can conduct business. I'm in a public area. You see me in any, any private areas? This is a public area. I'm trying to conduct business. I have the right to be here, just like everybody else. I'm not being disorderly. I'm not anywhere I'm not supposed to be. I'm not impeding business. Why would they ask me to leave? Because I'm exercising my rights? I have a right to record and check up on my government in the course of their duties. It's the First Amendment. But because they don't know that and they're uneducated, I got to leave and I can't conduct business in the public building? Mm. You swore to protect my rights. So Remember? What exactly are you, do you need? I told you, I don't know how to read and write. I need somebody to help me fill out my for you. I'm going to submit it and I just need a copy for my records. They can't help you with the Of course they can. They have to by law. Do the for you law, they have to. If I didn't have no hands, if I didn't have no hands and I want to come in here and fill out a for you, and I can't write because I don't have no hands, their job is to help me fill out my for you request in person. You're not going to tell somebody with no hands, go on the internet, or everything has to be on the internet. No, right? That's why this building's here so that they can help us. Oh, so that's why the Department of Environmental Protection is here. Not to, well, address the issues with the environment, such as air and water conservation. It's here to help you out. Yeah, you might want to check on that, dude. You might want to check your facts on that. You understand? Even if I wasn't doing it for you, listen, I can stay here till it closes because I'm not being disorderly. I'm not committing a crime. You are being right How? I'm talking to you. Right now, I'm upset because uh, they did, listen, let me finish my sentence. They deny me public services, which I have a right to receive. Then they call you men with guns for no crime, and then you come and enforce their feelings. I'm not committing a crime. I have a right to be here. here. What if they didn't like me because I was black, and they, they called you to remove me? You want to come remove me? You don't know why. Ask them why they want me to be removed. Ask them why they want me removed. Ask them why. Because you're being disorderly. How? Right. Taking pictures in public is disorderly? All right. This isn't, it's not. How did they tell you? How am I being disorderly, sir? Please. Right. Please elaborate how I'm being disorderly. You can't be here. All right. Call your supervisor for me. Now. Call your supervisor. No, you're going to get in your car and leave. Call your supervisor. What happens if I don't leave right now? You're going to put hands on me? Oh, now. Now I'm sure he's going to want to go want to file his fictitious lawsuit. Uh, but Davey boy, uh, 
You know, out of all the videos I've ever heard you say that, and I don't think you've actually ever filed one to begin with, so your threat really has no teeth to it at this point. You are just a toothless chihuahua nipping at the feet of somebody much bigger than you, not being anything but a yappy yappy thing. For no crime? Being disorderly. How am I being disorderly? How am I being disorderly? Give me your cards. Give me your cards and call your supervisor. I'm coming right back in. So. You know, I'm just going to leave it off right here because he doesn't get back in the building. He doesn't get to see his supervisor or anything like that. I mean, he's trespassed once again from another freaking building. I mean, how are you going to get yourself trespassed from every single freaking building in the city of New York? Probably so because, well, that's all he knows how to do. And by the time this YouTube gig is up and he has nothing better to do, he won't be able to go anywhere in the city. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?